So let's go through that paper because that's going to give us more intuition. And that's about image style transfer. What are you doing? This is your input image. Somebody gives you a style, and then you want to see how this image is going to look in the style that is given to you. And you can change the style. Use another style, another style, etc. Okay, first of all, you need to preserve the content. You want whatever that's going to come out of your algorithm to preserve the content of your original image. So let's say you have a photograph, you want to generate an image, and initially it is randomly initialized. It's a noise image. And X is basically what you want to output. P is the photograph that you have. You can push your photograph through a neural network. And in this case, our neural network is pre-trained. It is fixed. It is pre-trained on ImageNet. It could be VGG16. And then you are going to stop at one particular layer, L. And that's going to give you the features at that particular layer. You take an image, push it through a neural network, stop at a particular layer, look at the feature map. That's your PL. You can do the same thing to X. You can take X, which initially is a random image, push it through your architecture, and stop at the same layer that you stopped for P. Now you can write down a mean squared error loss on that particular feature map. And it's trying to compare P to X. And what are these FIJs? It is the activation of the I filter at position J in a particular layer. You can write that as a matrix. This is actually a tensor. You can write it as a matrix uh, where the first entries are actually the number of channels in your feature map. And you're collapsing the height and the width of your image into a single dimension. You're flattening it. So that was for content. If you try to minimize this, your image is going to look like the original image. It's going to look like your photograph. It's not going to be in the style of an image that somebody gave you. For that, you're going to write down a gram matrix, and it's per channel. It's telling you that this channel is similar to the other channel, or it's correlated to the other channel this much. That's what your gram matrix is telling you. How do you get it? You look at uh, one feature map, feature map I, and if you pick a feature map, it's going to end up being all of the pixels in front of it corresponding to that particular feature map. So it's going to end up being a, either a matrix, and if you collapse it, it's going to end up being a long vector. You pick another feature map, that's going to end up being a vector, a very long vector of your pixels, and then you're going to multiply them together. And how do you multiply them? That's just the inner product. And that's telling you, this feature map compared to the other feature map, how similar are they or how correlated are they? And it turns out that this metric or this matrix is capturing texture information. And it's not caring too much about the global arrangement of your objects in the image. Now somebody gives you an image, A, it's an artwork image. You take that image, push it through your neural network, stop at a particular layer, you do the same thing to your X, this image here, or actually this image here that is initialized randomly. You take that, push it through your architecture, stop at the same layer, and then write down the loss function. This is the style loss between A and X using a pre-trained neural network, which is giving you these representations or the gram matrices. Now you are comparing the gram matrix coming out of the feature maps in layer L for image X, which you're trying to optimize over. And the other one is coming out of your style representation. This is smaller image here. And this one is initialized randomly. And then you're going to optimize over it. How do you do it? You're going to write down a linear combination of these two losses, the style loss and the content loss. And then you're going to keep stepping in the direction of the gradient of the total loss with respect to x. So here you are not optimizing with respect to parameters of your neural network. You are optimizing with respect to the input of your neural network. This is similar to what you are doing when you are trying to come up with adversarial examples. It's the same thing. You keep optimizing. And for each content, each style, you are going to end up with an image. This guy is initialized randomly and throughout training, it's going to take a style of this style image 
and it's going to take the content of the content image. So it's going to inherit from both of them. And you can play around with the ratio of alpha over beta. How important are you going to give to this loss versus the other loss? And then if you give more importance to the content loss, the content is going to get preserved, but then you have less of style. If you uh, give more importance to the style, you're going to preserve the style, but lose the content. So I went through this because this is going to give you more intuition about the loss function that we used in the previous the slide. And the previous slide is actually getting rid of this optimization by writing the surrogate for it, which is a neural network. Any questions about this? Well, there is a question. Uh, so here, there is only one CNN, right? Yes, here you have only one convolutional neural network, which is your VGG16, and it's pre-trained and fixed throughout the process. You're not going to adjust its parameters. In the previous paper, you have one neural network, which is the same as what we just saw, VGG16. It's giving you your loss function. But now you have another neural network, which is going to take as input your input image, and it's going to give you an image in the style that you choose. And this neural network is replacing that optimization step. It's a surrogate for it. And therefore, it's much faster. You don't need to solve an optimization problem. You just push it through a neural network. So that's how these two are going to compare. They have the same loss. One of them needs to solve an optimization problem for each image. The other one is going to take that image, push it through a neural network at inference time. Any other questions? There is a question in the chat. And I guess the question is about this content loss versus the style loss. The question is, can we understand the two losses at somewhat orthogonal to each other? You can think of it that way. This content loss is trying to preserve the content. And we know that if you look at the feature maps of a pre-trained neural network, because that neural network is trained on classification, is trying to preserve the content. It's going to keep cats as cats. It's going to keep dogs as dogs, etc. This other one, the gram matrix, is going to capture the texture. It doesn't really matter the location of these buildings compared to each other. So you just want to keep the texture from the other image. And there is a comment in the chat. The content loss preserves spatial information and the style preserve the con the color channel. It's not only the colors, it's also the texture, the combination of your colors that your gram matrix is preserving, this style loss. And the other one is about the content. You are preserving the content and the spatial information matters over there. And we saw we could use pre-trained neural networks and ImageNet classification to give us the location of the objects. When you are doing grad cam to visualize your neural network, you could actually see a neural network tra trained on image classification can actually localize. It's a weak localizer, but it's still going to localize. Any other questions? Would it be possible to use other models like AlexNet or ResNet instead of VGG16? Of course. So I don't think, uh, actually, I'm going to go through a paper later on, and it's going to tell us that these neural networks are actually good metrics for perceptual comparison. And it doesn't really matter whether it's VGG16, ResNet, AlexNet, or any other architecture. Does that answer your question? OK, perfect. Any other ones?